financial low period because of course you are leaving your job and or you are directly uh, jumping into directly jumping into the entrepreneurship so uh, it could be driven by your own sa uh, saving or or all these factors so you should be looking that how in within that uh, frame or the, within that time frame how I, I will cope with the low financial period yeah so welcome Hello. Once again, and in this video, we'll be talking very critical elements of uh, starting a new setup or if, whether it is clinic or hospital. Um, going forward, as we reach to the day of webinar, we will be sharing a lot of uh, tutorials with you so that you prepared for the workshop because these videos will actually give you insight what it takes to become a healthcare entrepreneur and start your own cleaning and hospital. Thank you for listening for the workshop and we'll be sharing a lot of initial good nuggets important point which will prepare you for the workshop and let's let's see in the video yeah so then in this video we will be discussing about the 10 critical points which you should be aware before you take that decision of venturing into your own clinic or hospital you might be a, a newcomer who has just uh, completed his uh, or her studies and he wanted to start afresh or you might be a seasoned professional who is working in some uh, firm or hospital and you want to now start afresh so it's applicable to all and it irrespective of your uh, pathy means like you are allopathy surgeon or medicine or doctor or you are in from ayush or your dentist or your homeopathy or ayurvedic whatever you be your uh, specialization or pathy this concepts applies to everyone and based on this concept there will be quiz which will be giving in the whatsapp group so please be very attentive and uh, understand what the what are this concept and we will share those questionnaire or the quiz in the whatsapp group so you might be knowing about these facts some of them you have applied in the routine practice also but we are going to share 10 important nuggets which will be useful to you you will not miss out on anything so let's dive into the uh, mind map and we'll show you uh, what are this uh, 10 points that we want to discuss with you okay so 10 critical uh, things that you should be aware before you decide to open a new, new clinic and hospital uh, or it could be a, your online venture as well okay so let us discuss these 10 points the first point that uh, matters most is uh, a right mindset okay so right mindset is very critical and uh, being doctor's education uh, or, or the healthcare education is such like where you are taught uh, much about your stream um, but having a entrepreneurial mindset is something that is missing. So before you venture into this thing that you should be very clear about a few things. Okay. So when we say right mindset, what does it mean? It means what is your vision? Okay. What is your vision? What is your risk appetite? And do you see hurdles as a problem or do you see them as the opportunity? Okay. Because going forward, there will be a lot of problems with that will be coming. Some known, some unknown. Uh, but if you have a habit of converting those problems into opportunity, then this, this uh, going into entrepreneurship, going into opening of your new setup will make, uh, will be enjoyable journey. Otherwise, it will become very painful. Okay. So when we talk about vision, what does vision mean? Vision means that why you are going into this stream okay why you want to open your setup whether it is a money driven activity you are driven by money and there is nothing wrong or right in in what we are talking about okay different people are, dri are driven by different things so it is perfectly fine if you are driven by money okay whether you want independence in life whether you are service oriented uh you are not happy with what exists in your existing setup that you want to serve people and uh, whether it is a social status some people like to have a social state, a status recognition so what is that drives you is important okay that means your why should be very very clear before you enter into this world see having a job and doing uh, stuff is also tough and but to an extent it is organized because you don't have to do multiple things and you have to just go and perform your duty Right? You are right. part of a one, like a big wheel, you are a one perk in a big wheel, a machine. But when you start your own setup, however small it is, uh, you will be liable for everything. Okay. Yeah. So there will be a lot of problems, a quite hard learning curve as well. Okay. So your vision will help you drive on in that dark phase when there will be a lot of problems. So it could be money, it could be independent, it could be social status, it could be service of the humanity, whatever it is, or it is a mix of two or three elements. The vision should be clear. If your vision, your passion, why you are doing it is clear, then everything, the problem that comes, it will be fun to solve those problems because you are an intellectual person, you want to solve problem, that is why you are doing it. You need to be brave 
uh, you you need to be having a risk appetite do, do not yeah. be risk averse because there will be always risk versus return okay yeah. so there will be a risk there will be return also right second thing that we want to yeah. touch upon is point says you should be aware about your resources whatever you are having it can be multiple avenues of resources they are a skill the skill that you have acquired in your college or your training institute surgical skills or any other skills communication skills these are the asset to you you should always take the leverage of the resources the first of them is the are you confident to run the show independently see at the end of the day you are going to be responsible for the outcome of the patient so you should be very sure that you are actually performing the best and at the topmost notch at the same time you have to have some necessary entrepreneurial skills that is like hr management finance management operation management these are the things which is not taught to us in the curriculum or the student time but it is very very important for establishing a successful setup and once you have the combination of these two you are stand to win absolutely and the second thing that that you should be looking is financial digital finances okay. finances means what do you what you should be knowing is first thing is you should have capacity to observe a financial period see nobody becomes entrepreneur if he is, if he is coming with a silver spoon there is a lot of perseverance and hard work which goes behind it you have to understand that what is you are saying is it your spouse is working or not is it the family is having good background of finance a group of friends are ready to help you there is a financial partner who will guide you in this journey so all these things are important because any of this or combination of this can determine the outcome that you are going to have in your endeavor right. importantly you should always believe in your own saying but all these important things are also to not need to be considered and see, see there will be a there will be a financial low period because of course you are leaving your job and or you are right to uh, jumping into directly jumping into the entrepreneurship so uh, it could be driven by your own sa uh, saving or or yeah. these factors so you should be looking that how in within that uh, frame or within that time frame how I, I will cope with the low financial period yeah. financial period yeah then there should be good credit history your past history of your credit what you have taken and whether it is a period or not not is determined by your credit score so in the past if you have taken a loan and paid the installment in time that can help you to make a good credit score and that will give you advantage when you raise a loan this time absolutely okay and the third is your passive, passive source of income we will be discussing passive source of income multiple ways now passive source of income is very important for additional help like we discussed about the financial low period that is where the passive source of income comes to your rescue yeah so all these resources you should map whether it is skill based or whether it is financial uh, based what are the resources you are and what you are lacking so that you are aware of all these uh, factors okay the third important point that we want to discuss with you that uh, that you should be aware before you, you plunge into it is the right location you should be aware that you should be able to choose the right location there are multiple factors uh, in few videos or few days you will also get one video which is which will talking in detail about right location how to choose the right location so watch out for it we will tell you how to get the right location okay uh, some days afterwards uh, two or three days you will get a one video which will be about the right location so do not worry about that uh, we have we have uh, decoded the whole uh, uh, the secret behind of getting the right location how what, what you should be looking whether it is rent or whether you want to buy it we have discussed in detail so you you should this is a one of the factor which will decide your uh, your success and failure okay one of the important factor the fourth factor is next about, point is competitive analysis uh -huh. you can also say that it is kind of a feasibility study Correct. So what is the feasibility study? It is actually whether your project is viable, all in all the manners. Like location is proper, speciality is proper. What kind of competition you are having? Whether there are big corporates or there there are not. What is the type of population? Like what is the financial status of the population? Hmm. All these things are to be kept in mind when you are planning your hospital because they will determine the success or failure. Unplanned, if you go, you might succeed, but more there are chances of failure also. But if you go in a methodical way. and we have detailed this in our next lectures also if you go in a proper way then there are increased chances of success see if you really are investing anything above one cr if you are investing in your setup uh, i would suggest that you should go for professional help in the feasibility study okay and um, if you are making such kind of investment you should be doing it in a proper systematic way with all data points 
Okay, so location, speciality, big corporates, type of population, and many other factors that is covered in feasibility study has been done by uh, professionals who are who are expert in this domain. So please get it done. Uh, may it may cost you a few lakh rupees, but then you you the stake is stakes are much higher. Okay, uh, so even if you if you do it by yourself, uh, that's okay. But then you might miss some somewhere. Okay, you are not an expert in that domain, so you might uh, uh, miss one or two critical factor, and that will cost your whole investment. So logically, it, it makes sense to invest in an expert advice and go for a uh, full proper report. Okay, and that will help you uh, make a proper decision also. Now, fifth point that we want to discuss is uh, is about partnership structure now this partnership structure is also uh, a critical element because um, some people want to go together and pull some funds and uh, do a multi speciality or multi poly uh, polyclinic kind of setup money wise it will make uh, sense to you go uh, together but then you should also have uh, understanding that partners come with the liabilities also okay because not only uh, from their side but from your side also you might like their working style. Some people might not like your working style. They might not have the same value set that you want or they have a different uh, vision. So you should be very careful about the partnership. If you find the right partner, then it is perfect. Okay, it is very good to have a partner. Uh, but if you are not partner kind of person who, who can work with a, the group of people, then going solo is also is okay. That depends on what is what kind of personality you are. Uh, we have discussed much in detail uh, in our community about partnership and how you can evolve a partnership, how you can develop your uh, personality about the partnership. But you should be very clear whether I want to go solo or whether I want to go with the partners. And if the decision to go with the partner is purely on monetary basis, only for pooling of money, then you have to double check because it might not work out. Sixth element that is... Company structure. You should be clear about the company structure right from the beginning when you are planning the finances. Because this will, this is a very important decision. Whether you want to go for a uh, private limited or LLP or trust or, you know, you want to go solo or in a registered partnership. So we'll be detailing about this in our webinar. So you should be having a proper idea of all these uh, company structure and pros and cons of each of them. And this is very critical because this is once it is made, it is very difficult to uh, change the company structure. Uh, so you should be aware about advantage and disadvantage of different uh, company structure as uh, as Sarah told. Uh, it could be proprietorship, uh, it could be a LLP, it could be a private limited, it could be trust also. But uh, do not go by, by, by your uh, seniors or juniors or peers view. It should be based on your vision and it should be informed uh, decision. Okay. Great. Hope you're enjoying these factors and these are very important. And please remember that uh, there will be a quiz based on this one of the uh, few of these factors. So please listen it carefully. Okay. Seventh is uh, rent or own decision. Again, this is a decision based on your financial condition, your um, how lean you want, how fast you want to get uh, into the entrepreneurship or your, your clinic hospital. So rent and own decision, uh, buying your own land and building a hospital or building the or or, or, or buying the whole building also. This uh, again, it, it has multiple decision layers. And we will discuss in uh, much more in detail uh, when we discuss that how you can actually reduce your the cost of your setup, right? Uh, so this decision is based on few factors like your own uh, vision, your financial capacity, how agile setup you want, and how you want to go after five years or ten years. Okay. So discuss, understand all these things, and then decide whether you want to rent or uh, start a building. Both are okay. Okay, both yeah. are good. Both are bad. It depends on your own. Uh, individual status. The next factor is important is SWOT analysis. It is a methodical scientific way to understand and represent the position like what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, what is the opportunity and what are the threats. So if you balance these things and do some thinking over the all four points, you'll have a better analysis, better idea of the situation of the market. Absolutely. So SWOT analysis is very good. I, I can say that it is a uh, what you say is the internal analysis of, of yourself. Uh, you can write that uh, you, you have a strength of maybe you are a very good surgeon and uh, your strength is that you have a good network of people or you have already have a customer base. These are the set strength you can you can have financial background, which is good enough. So these kind of things. So you write one in a one column. What are your strength? What are the then weakness that you have? Uh, and then what is the opportunity that that uh, while jumping or making your own cleaning cost? What is the opportunity and what could be a threat? 
So these are internal analysis. And if you do it, it will give you more clarity. Uh, you, you should be aware of your threat, work on opportunity, reduce your weakness and increase your strength. Okay, that is how you need to be doing. Uh, next analysis, which we want to discuss our next point is about the, which is called pastel analysis. Okay, pastel is more of a uh, external analysis. Okay, This is external factors. SWAT is a internal factors. Okay, so this is an external factor, pastel analysis. What the pastel uh, indicates? Pastel means political, environmental, social, technological, economical, and legal environment around you. Okay, so you should be aware you are not living in a vacuum. Uh, there will be factors which will impact you. Okay, it could be anything like political means, like it could be a uh, if you are living in a state where uh, political is, uh, politically it is not uh, very stable. Uh, then it might impact you because then regulation keep changing, government policies can keep changing, uh, statutory clearances can keep changing, a lot of things can keep, keep changing. So you should be aware that, okay, uh, I live in this, so I should take account uh, of, of this factor as well. Okay, uh, Environmental could be, uh, what is the ecosystem says, how, how good the states are, right? There are difference in the state if you are uh, opening in UP, Bihar or Northeast and then versus in the Western side of, of the country or in the South, they're different environmental. So in that, that environmental condition, you should be aware of. Uh, social is that again, social structures gives you how you actually go and behave in your community. So in Gujarat, let's say Gujarat, uh, there is no liquor or there is a religious people. So you have a different kind of social structure. But, but when you go to the uh, Karnataka, Bangalore, Tamil Nadu, they have a different uh, different structure, right? Social structure. It could be uh, women oriented. It could be uh, uh, man oriented. There is a different society, right? Uh, it could be a community based. So you should be aware of this and use it for your own uh, advantage. Okay. Then technological also, like what is the technology that is keep changing, digital marketing, AI uh, in your domain, how fast is changing, all those things you should be aware. Uh, economical condition, uh, if you are in a state like Jharkhand or Chhattisgarh or Bihar, though maybe high paying capacity customers are not that uh, relevant to you. So then you, you should be looking for a mass volume game. But if you are in a, in a city like uh, Mumbai or Delhi or metros where you can get a high paying customers as well, then uh, economically you can place or position yourself. So that depends like what analysis needs to be done and the legal framework, okay? How much is stable our system is, how much is a, uh, how much way the legal, legal framework is how strong, somewhere it is enforced uh, quite properly, somewhere it is not enforced. So you should be aware of it and take a corrective, corrective action. The, nothing in this should deter you, your, your determination. It should not uh, have a hamper, but the problem is should give you awareness that you are making a decision that is informed decision. And the last and the 10th point is? 10th point is support the ecosystem. So what is this? See, you should have you should have the work done by your people. You should not run after the work everywhere. And these are the work which can be easily done by the people who are non-technical. So you should get a statutory clearance agent. You should work with the vendors. Credit should be available. Then HR. HR, you should manage and uh, source it from a place where you get reliable people. And finally, marketing agency. Marketing is also one of the very component when you look in the long term game. So these are all the ecosystem support system is available. And more you'll network and more you'll have people working on you. It will be ensuring that your project will be viable and successful. So uh, this this ecosystem is like uh, you have to see that how much is this available, right? Uh, a city where all these things are available, things become very, very easy. Otherwise, become a little harder. So you should be aware that, OK, uh, this is how it it, uh, it it will be going forward. And the last and the one additional point which I want to mention here, uh, you can say one additional thing, bonus for you. Uh, have a mentor, okay, uh, who can guide you in this process. It, it is important that uh, uh, not only professionally, but all spheres of your life, it could be relationship, it could be spiritual. You should have mentors for different, uh, different areas of your life. And especially for a professional life and um, we, when we are discussing about healthcare where it is very difficult to find a good advice or a real unbiased advice, um, having a, a right mentor or right community where you can actually um, discuss things without any hesitation is important. Okay. So we want to uh, understand, we want to just say that find a community, find a, a mentor or a set of mentors who can help you in your personal as well as professional life and give you unbiased advice wherever, wherever you are stuck.
so that is very very uh, necessary so apart from 10 critical point if you have mentor early in your life then it becomes really easy because we have gone through the same process and we didn't find or we we, we were not actually so aware about the mentorship as well so we just wanted to touch on this point because this will make a difference uh, in in a lot of things when you are taking this uh, unknown territory so you should be mentor is like a guide okay in in your whole un, unknown territory you can uh, handhold or you can get a hand holding and pass through the difficult terrain other and then you you are you you are uh, smart enough to take from there but then initially what the struggle is it can be reduced with the help of mentor and you mentor. need not you need not learn your own mistakes you can learn from others mistakes and there is no reinvention of wheel you've already done it and we can guide you in this journey together yeah fantastic so so i think you you have got uh, 10 plus 1 points to uh, understand that uh, what are the different factors that you should be looking for when you take the decision make the decision very critical uh, relationship wise uh, your financial condition wise and a lot of things are at a stake so take an informed decision uh, we will be presenting the quiz in the whatsapp group please join the whatsapp group if you have not done it and the checklist of this document if you if you want we will give you the uh, pdf of this document which we have shown the mind map which we have shown uh, to all the live participant in the webinar okay so be there i am present live in the webinar and people who are present in the in the webinar will get the pdf of this document in their mail and one day after the webinar okay so please be there this is another incentive to be there live apart from you keep ask you will ask question we will be there at the live energy uh, so there are a lot of things a lot of things to be given a lot of awards to be given so be involved in this process and you you will have a transform transformative experience as far as your professional career is is concerned okay so thank see you, you so inside much. the workshop and we will see you live in the workshop thank you so much yeah, bye bye you. take care